the point of view that chocolate milk is not acceptable to be served in classrooms and school cafeterias. But on the other side, we have the group that says chocolate milk provides essential nutrients and should be served. We have elected two spokespeople. You have one minute. Who would like to begin? Thank you. Kids drink more flavored milk. Uh, kids drink more milk when it is flavored. Um, chocolate milk has the same essential nutrients as white milk. Kids who drink flavored milk need more nutrients needs. And that is why? And that is why chocolate milk is good for your body. Okay, we have a one-minute rebuttal from the other side. What would you like to say about chocolate milk? I'd like milk? to say first about the amount of sugar that goes into each chocolate milk, 30 grams, as much as soda, and usually when you have a soda, it's a treat that you have once in a while. And if you're having chocolate milk every day, then that's a lot. And when you have a lot of chocolate milk, about if you have one every day at school, that adds up to about two gallons at the end of the year. And if you do that for too much, you might even get diabetes and that could uh, cause a chain reaction. And it could just totally set off uh, your life and change everything. Okay, that is, those are some serious consequences. And that is why I think chocolate milk should not be served at school. Would anybody from this side like to present an argument in support of chocolate milk? Moses, what would you like to say? Uh, six or seven cartons of Tell us more about what you mean by that. Have you read some article that told you this? Yeah. Who was saying this in that article? <laughs> Maybe it was it an expert? Was it somebody who actually worked in a school? Somebody who actually worked in a cafeteria. Wow, that's that's first-hand knowledge. So they drink more chocolate milk. Would anybody else from this side like to present an argument? Yes. I also agree that chocolate milk has a lot of sugar, and a lot of sugar is not good for your body. First of all, it can turn too fat, and it's not good for your body. And second of all, it can give your teeth lots of cavities. Would anybody from this side like to say something in response to that? What could we say? Guys, what could we say? Because so they're saying that it's going to make you fatter. Somebody just said it's going to make you fatter. Here. What did, what did that, uh, the research tell us about? The research, research told that chocolate milk, they think that it has lots of sugar, but actually it has the same nutrients as white milk, and it's good for our bodies if they have the same nutrients as white milk. Right. Jung Su? But it's just not a, a normal person who says that if you add up all the amount of sugar and the chocolate milk in one year, it wasn't just a random person, it was Jamie Oliver. Ah, and who is Jamie Oliver? He's a famous chef, isn't he? Yeah, yes, we're going to wrap up our debate for now. Would you like to say any final words? Uh, we'll, we'll end with Jake, yes. I'll also say that um, uh, another reason why chocolate milk is very bad for you is that um, the report uh, that we read in the article that um, a kid in Australian school reports uh, other kids drinking 10 to 15 cartons a week, which is five days. And if you overdose, I mean, like, if you have way too much, then that could be really bad for you. And also, humans weren't made to drink chocolate milk, but humans were made to drink milk. So it's just not natural for us. Final words, Sue. I think that chocolate milk has um, a lot of nutrients, so it is good for your body. Excellent. Thank you for joining our first annual Miss Gabbard's Chocolate Milk Debate, and thank you to our debaters. <laughs>